Today I am going to explain Korean Government Scholarship or Government of Korea Scholarship. Please watch the full video. It will cover a lot of things. Let's begin. Welcome to our YouTube channel Junaid Naveed and today I am going to explain Korean government scholarship. I will give this link to the description so that you can redirect to this website here. When you come to this website, they will provide you some PDFs in English and Korean language. For the application guideline, you need to download the PDF guideline as I have already downloaded it let me show you so this is the guideline for the global Korean scholarship 2021 there are there are some introduction about this scholarship and here are some number of expected scholars they will call to the Korea and these are the eligible countries and for general application with different number of seats as you can see that Afghanistan and there is also Bangladesh and also Pakistan and India here is India and here is Pakistan so you can see various number of seats are allotted to different countries and you can choose according to seat availability it is not for our use this is for overseas Koreans and this is for Korean language teaching professionals and there are two possibilities to apply for this scholarship one possibility you may apply through the embassy track and in this they are offering one, two, three, four, and five universe, five countries. And you can see Pakistan and India is present in this list. The other possibility is you can apply through the university track and university track quota for research program is five candidates from 76 countries. And Quota for general program and science and engineering majors of regional university programs are listed here. You can also see there is not Afghanistan but Bangladesh, also Pakistan, India. So you are eligible for applying this scholarship. There are some partner universities. If you are applying for general you need to choose university from this list and if you are applying for engineering major you need to apply uh, you need to choose university from this list application for applying science and engineering majors of regional university they must choose the university from type p and uh, general program and research applicants can choose any university from type a or type b embassy track applicants can choose three different universities however university track candidates can only select one university available field of studies here are some files and this is the available universities and field of studies you can find your relevant field from this document Applicants should check the university regarding the language of the class. Uh, for example, if you are applying for specific course, you need to focus that is that program in your desired language or not. Academic programs offered during evening, short term seasonal programs, online and distance learning pro programs are not available to apply and admission is not permitted so you cannot apply for these programs you need to consider these things when you are applying for the scholarship all applicants must hold 
citizenship of these countries as I have shown the list above. Afghanistan is not present in this list. However, Bangladesh, Pakistan and India are present in this list. So they can apply for this scholarship. And uh, applicants' parents must not hold the Korean citizenship. This is for the, uh, I mean, overseas Korean. This is not for our use. What are do what documents are required? Master's program applicants must hold the bachelor's degree or level of education equivalent to or higher than a bachelor's degree. And if you are applying for doctoral program, you must have master's degree or a level of education equivalent to or higher than a master's degree. Research program applicants must receive an invitation from the university and that university must belong to the partners of this program. And age of for the applicants must be under 40 years. And if you are applying for academic professors, your age must be under 45 years. These are some great criteria. So what would be the CGPA? This is the health, you need to take some health certificate from your country that you are medically fit and do not use any type of drug and do not contain any type of severe disease. If you have already applied for this scholarship and you want to reapply for this scholarship, this is the guideline for you. And these are some restrictions for this scholarship. Applicants who have graduated from Korean high school or university are not eligible for this scholarship. And formal applicants who have withdrawn from the scholarship after being selected, I mean, if they are selected before for the scholarship and they came for after getting the visa, and after that, they go back. They did not continue their study. They are not eligible to apply. However, an applicant selected for the scholarship, for some reason, he did not join the Korea, did not join the Korean university and withdraw the, uh, his application or her application. So he or she can apply for this scholarship. These are some required documents, application form, personal statements, statement of purpose, research proposal, and you can see research proposal is only required for research program and statement of purpose is required for master's and doctoral program. So for master's and doctoral candidates should not submit the research proposal. Two letter of recommendation is required for all of the applicants. Invitation letter only required for research candidate. Application, applicant agreement is required for all applicants. Medical assessment required for all applicants. And what degree they require depending upon which program they are applying. For example, if someone is applying for master's program, they must hold the bachelor's degree. And for if they are applying for doctoral program, they must hold the master's degree. So these are some other documents and they also mention for which case it is required. Applicants parents proof of citizenship document. Applicants proof of citizenship document. Other things are optional and they will require the comprehensive medical examination result after the second round successful candidates. and. Uh, when you are filling your application, your application documents must be in Korean or in English language. Applicants English name must match the passport name. They use the same name as they have used in their passport. These are some other instructions. But note of that uh, everyone knows that these things. Here is the important thing. If you are applying through the embassy track, you must have one set of original application form and you need to submit 
three extra set of phot photocopied application form and if you provide any fraudulent or insufficient application document then they will exclude your application from the scholarship list and if the university requiring any other supplementary document which is not described in this pdf then you need to submit that document directly to the university and you need to attach your publications research paper awards and other relevant materials which support, which can support your application this is the selection procedure mostly announcement of application get guidelines is in mid february and announcement of first round selection schedule will be announced in the february but you need to see these things from um, your embassy if you are applying from the embassy track uh, so go to the embassy website of korea in your country and see which deadline they are given you to submit the application when and how to submit your application application deadline as i have told you uh, will application deadline will vary according to your embassy so you need to see what date is given by your embassy for this scholarship so some important things when you are filling up your application your name date of birth must match the passport because they the documents they will send you they will contain the same spelling and same name order as you will fill up in your application and this may cause the delay in your visa process if this if the name on your passport and your application do not match there are some factors they will consider when they will evaluate your application and you need to be evalu you you will be evaluated on the basis of your academic transcript certificate of language proficiency personal statement statement of purpose letter of recommendation and any previous achievements like awards published book or research articles and for example if you have given one of these exam then they will consider you or prefer you on the basis of your test scores after that first selection they will assess you and you need to submit your medical assessment examination to the required agency the period of the scholarship for master's degree program is 3 years for doctoral degree program is 4 years if and research program may vary between 6 months to 1 year these are some benefits they will give you airfare settlement allowance monthly allowance for masters and research medical insurance language training fee tuition korean proficiency grant research support fee thesis printing fee and degree completion grants these are their scale for the grade and gpa there are some contact information of korean embassies in your country you can see afghanistan bangladesh and other countries also present here you see pakistan and other countries are also here these are the contact information of korean universities which are partner of this program and at the end these are some application forms and checklist you need to submit when you are applying when you are applying for this scholarship so this is an overview of the application form so you need to fill all these forms depending upon which program you are, are you applying i hope you understand this scholarship if you like this video please subscribe our channel hit the bell icon and like our video and share this video with your friends stay tuned with us allah hafiz until the next video